So it's been brought to my attention that pointers are one of the most misunderstood concepts in programming, and so I decided to make this short video so I can explain to you everything that you need to know about pointers. Starting with what is a pointer? In simple terms, a pointer is a variable that stores the memory address of another variable. I want you to visualize your computer's memory as a giant set of mailboxes, each with a unique address. Regular variables store data like numbers or letters inside these mailboxes. A pointer, on the other hand, doesn't store data directly. Instead, it stores the address of another mailbox. So let's start with how we declare a pointer, and let's look at an example in C or C++. Here we have a regular integer variable x with the value 42. The ampersand x gives us the memory address of x. Then we use the asterisk to declare a pointer p that stores this address. P is like a GPS coordinate that leads us to X. Now, what if you want to access the actual value stored at the memory address a pointer is holding? That's where dereferencing comes in. The asterisk before P is called the dereference operator. It tells the program to follow the pointer and fetch the value stored at the address P is pointing to. In this case, it gives us 42. And you might find this confusing because didn't we just use the asterisk symbol to declare the pointer? And you'd be correct. That's one of the main points of confusion. It's used for pointer declaration as well as dereferencing. So if we look at this code, in this line we're doing pointer declaration. The asterisk indicates that the variable is a pointer to a type. Here, the asterisk tells the compiler that p is a pointer to an int, not just an int variable. And in this line, we are doing dereferencing. So now, the asterisk is the dereference operator. It accesses or modifies the value stored at the memory address that the pointer holds. So here, asterisk p refers to the value that p points to, which is x in this case. So when you assign asterisk p equals 20, it modifies the value of x. So in summary, in declarations, the asterisk defines a pointer type. But in expressions, the asterisk dereferences a pointer to access or modify the value it points to. So why are pointers useful? Pointers allow you to manage memory dynamically and lets you allocate just the right amount of memory for your needs. And functions can use pointers to directly modify the variables you pass in, saving you the overhead of copying the data. If you're building advanced data structures like trees or linked lists, pointers can help you connect the nodes. And of course, if you're doing any low-level programming tasks involving system-level programming, Pointers are going to let you work directly with hardware, meaning managing memory buffers or implementing custom memory management. Before we wrap up, I just want to cover a few common pitfalls and tips for working with pointers. So the first is uninitialized pointers. You always want to remember to initialize your pointers, or they might point to some random memory. And this can lead to undefined behavior, such as accessing invalid memory or causing a crash in your program. So initialize your pointers to a valid memory location or to null or null pointer in C++. Number two is dangling pointers. You don't want to dereference a pointer after you free its memory. So a dangling pointer occurs when a pointer still points to a memory location that has been deallocated or freed. And dereferencing such pointers can lead to undefined behavior, crashes, or data corruption. So after you free a pointer, you want to set it to null or null pointer. And number three is null pointers. You always want to check if a pointer is null before dereferencing. And a reminder that a null pointer is just a pointer that does not point to any valid memory location, usually null or null pointer. And dereferencing such a pointer will result in a crash, often a segmentation fault. So before dereferencing a pointer, always ensure it is not null by checking it with an if statement. And this gives us safety referencing. If you learned something new today, please give this video a like and comment down below. And if you would like to support the channel and get updates for future videos, please consider subscribing. As always, thank you very much for watching and happy coding.